Hello. I'm Reikai and welcome back. So, off screen I did level up a little bit and we got our bear form. I record every goddamn thing we do in this game. This will be a 50 part series by level 15, so. Still alive. Still here. Um, I wanted to watch some videos <coughs> while I played. <laughs> so pay no mind to the background noise. It may even opt in some more commentary. I tried to figure out a way to not have the video on the other monitor playing in the background, but I guess you need third-party software to be able to do that. We're not that advanced yet, so. Yeah, we're gonna finish Mulgore, and I wanted to watch some Asmon videos, so I guess, <laughs> I guess we're watching them together. Sorry. We didn't get a Starfield review copy and but, any other hopefully, uh, I'll okay. set it uh, well, over the volume just a little bit over there. Uh, let's see. I'm a little scruffy, I just woke up. We need to get Prairie Alpha Tees and go up here. Uh, and I got the add on to show me the health bars because, you know, why not? Alright. Oh, got a couple hours, then I gotta go, unfortunately, work again. Ooh, jobs. To review content because they provide unfavorable coverage. Uh, I Something about like a uh, dangerous road to go down. I think that if you want to review copy and you're not going to break the rules of the embargo or the NDA, uh, I, d I don't think that you should be denied a review copy. Uh, I don't like the idea. Okay, yeah, never mind. There's nothing really fascinating going on. I don't really care about review copies. I'll save that for background noise later. Uh, actually, I think we can get, well, uh, shit, wasn't there another, oh, I was, fuck, I fucked up. I was supposed to use the, uh, the water at the, at Blood Who Village, Jesus Christ. Need to get more coffee in me, I'm still half asleep, I guess, sorry. I'm gonna try to at least finish Mulgore here, and... And then we can cut the video so I can walk to the crossroads because nobody wants to watch that journey. A couple days off. We still waiting for our welding jobs, so more content coming until then. But I guess we're still Uber drivers until then. But hey, you know the fun part about Uber? <laughs> I meet some interesting people and I get to have some funny stories to tell people. I don't know if I talked about it yet, but last time I was out doing Uber, I had this lovely encounter with uh, a very intelligent person whose name will obviously remain confidential but uh, basically you know normal pick up the food drive to the address I get to the address and it's this uh, complex of townhouses so there's units 1 to 38 they didn't provide a unit number so now obviously I text the customer on the app being like hey I need your unit number to complete the delivery and no response for about five minutes. So I try again. You know, another five minutes goes by and no reply, so I call. And you can call on the app, it doesn't use your actual phone number, which I really appreciate, because God knows I don't need customers calling me up at 3 a.m. when they're drunk and pissed off about something. Uh, and they don't answer their phone. So I call again and leave a message saying like, hey, you know, I've been sitting out here I have 20 minutes now trying to get your food to you. I need your unit number to complete the delivery. Another 5-10 minutes go by. So now we're sitting at 30 minutes. This customer still hasn't bothered to contact me via text or call. So I get a hold of Uber support. And they, they uh, inform me to find somewhere safe to put the food. 
and then just take a picture and inform the customer where it is so they can come pick it up at their leisure. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. So I put... I found the mailboxes for those townhouse units and I put the, uh... I put the food on top of it, take a picture and say, Hey, since you're not responding and I can't get your unit number, your food will be at the mailboxes. Have a good day. And not even five seconds after I swipe on the app delivered and get into my car to go deliver this other person's food who has been sitting in my car for the last 30 minutes while this guy was essentially dicking me around finally calls back and he's and they are pissed they, and, he, and the person goes off on the phone like hey like what the fuck are you doing I've just been watching you driving around for 30 minutes looping around in circles stopping at places that aren't my front door are you gonna get me my goddamn food to me or not so obviously this tells me he's been watching the app, which means he's seen both the text messages and the phone calls. Because it would pop up on the app if he was watching me drive around. So intentionally not giving me the information. And I'm like, okay. And I just politely say, well, I couldn't find your address because you didn't provide me a unit number and I tried to contact you via text and phone call and you weren't responding. So your food is at the mailbox. At the mailboxes. And then, you know, most normal people would be like, okay, well, alright. Sorry, I didn't provide the unit number. I will go grab my food. No, this person's like, well, if you weren't such a fucking retard and knew how to do your goddamn job, you'd know how to find the fucking house. I'm like, what? And at that point, I kind of just said, hey, man, like, I can't read your mind. If you don't provide a unit number, no one's going to find your house, regardless of how good they are at their job. And I just hung up on the guy. And the guy tried to call, like, several times after that. And I had to get, uh, I had to call, uh, Uber support, and they eventually blocked him from calling me on the app after that. Like, what a psychopath, man. All you had to do was give me your unit number, step one, and then if you don't do that, all you had to do after that was just go pick your food up at the mailboxes. Like, I don't understand what the whole, whole crazy thing was. And this poor person who actually provided me with proper information, like I drove there and I dropped their food off in about five minutes afterwards. Their food was just chilling in my car for 30 minutes, and unfortunately, because the app doesn't allow me to go to an, to the other customer's house until I finished the other delivery, I can't even see the address until I complete this person's delivery. It's like fuck. So now this customer had to pay this to pay the price for this guy's ignorance. It just boggled my mind, and you, you see this stuff all the time. Well, people seem to think that the app is just going to magically tell me where their house is. Yes, on most occasions, if it's just a house and the address is on the app, that's how it works. But if you just provide the address with no unit number, or if you live in an apartment and you don't give me a, an apartment number, well, your food's not going to show up at your front door. <laughs> I, I, I can't predict what your unit or apartment number is. I'm not Jeebus. I'm not Santa Claus. I'm not always watching. <laughs> and man, I swear these people think I'm like the goddamn tooth fairy and all they have to do is order the food and abracadabra, there it is. If you don't provide the information for me to deliver it to you, it kind of makes it hard. And at that point, it's like, bro, why are you making it so difficult to get your food to you? Do you, want, do you not want your dinner? All you have to do is provide three... Or two words, unit, and then the numbers that correspond with it, and it would have solved the problem. And the other thing that could have solved the problem is once you've seen the text messages and the phone calls to answer them. <laughs> that's not the only time that's ever happened, too. I remember this was a couple of years ago. And I had this lovely encounter with a person ordering a bunch of liquor. They ordered like $150 worth of booze to an apartment complex. 
It didn't provide a buzzer code or uh, an apartment number, of course. So I was like, okay, well, hopefully they'll meet me at the door. So I get there and I pull up to the front door. No one there. So I, I tried to contact the customer on the app. I sent a text message first. No response for about 10 minutes. And then I tried to call. And when I tried to call, it said that their phone was disconnected. So obviously they uh, provided a, a fake phone number or they haven't paid their phone bill. Uh, but, not gonna assume, right? So I get a hold of Uber support, or uh, this was Skip at the time. We don't do Skip anymore because that's that's another conversation. I'll get to that. Uh, and I they con they contact this person on the delivery app saying, "Hey, the driver's there. They're trying to get a hold of you. You didn't provide an apartment or a buzzer code. And he's trying to get your liquor to you." And this lady proceeds to like she's on the third floor comes out on her balcony and is like screaming at me like are you gonna deliver my fucking alcohol or what this is why I don't tip you stupid pieces of shit you can't fucking figure out how to get to my house or get up here like ma'am you didn't provide a, an apartment number or a uh, buzzer code how am I supposed to get into the building and she's like oh for fuck's sakes I'll just come down there and pick it up god you guys are fucking useless I'm just like, whoa. And she gets down there and she's like hopping and puffing and I asked for her ID because she didn't bring her ID down and she looks like she's like 16, by the way. So, and then of course she got mad about that. She's like, what, now I need to show you ID? God, you guys are fucking helpless. And she goes back, gets her ID, comes back down. She's like, so why the hell do you need to ID me? I'm like, because it's the law, ma'am. And you look like you're 16, which most people would take that as a compliment. He's like, what? You some kind of freak thinking I look like I'm 16? And I'm just like, here's your liquor, and I proceed to get in my car and walk away. Like, a just absolute psychopath. Mind you, during this whole encounter, I didn't get a tip. I only made $3 for that whole thing. And that was like 40 minutes of my time, and then I had to deal with Psycho Karen. <laughs> oh my goodness. And you, you see this a lot, too, when you're delivering alcohol. People don't seem to understand the concept that... Uh, they, they seem to have this weird part in their brain where they think that just because they ordered delivery and they've already paid for it, that they no longer have to be ID'd. That's not how it works. When you order liquor through delivery, you still have to be ID'd because the liquor store can't ID you when you're in your home. Now, what could solve this problem is if the customer could upload a picture of their ID, but even then, uh, the reason they can't do that is because Alberta law doesn't allow that because you could, up to, you could upload a fake ID. And so many people get into such a huff and puff over it when I get there and I ask them for their ID. They're like, well, I already paid for it, just give me my liquor. I'm like, no. If you, look like you're under, if you look like you're under the age of 40, under the AGLC laws, in Canada, I have to check your ID. Or, you know what happens if I end up delivering alcohol to a minor. Both me and the person who ordered the alcohol get a $10,000 fine. I'm not losing $10,000 to make fucking $3. Show me your ID or you can, you can fuck off. I'm not sticking my neck out for fucking $5. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You run into a lot of people who seem to lack common sense when you're delivering people's orders on these third-party apps. I've never had issues when I delivered for like... Well, I, I ran into a few stupid people, but not nearly as many. When I would deliver for like an actual business. And then you had to actually go to the door and bring the debit machine and all that stuff. You know, you had the, you had the whole human aspect of the, the situation. I think that's a part of why people are spurging out and being stupid. Once you remove the human aspect out of a, a service, then they get confused when you when you add the human aspect back. Man, these prairie teeth are not dropping. Like, how long have we been fucking doing this quest? Man, 15 minutes and we got three teeth. I've probably killed at least a dozen of these. But, that's classic. 
crazy people, man. Yeah, like it really sucks too with these third-party apps because you don't you you, you prepay, so it's like you, you kind of can't show that you have good service before you get tipped. Now with Uber, they can tip afterwards, but most people really don't. Like if they've already got their food, they don't fucking care about you anymore. And so most people just don't tip, right? Because they've either had a bad experience or, you know, they just... There's no human aspect. There's really no point, right? You, you click the app, you get the food. Which is fair. Yeah, that's... That's the way. Plus, I think a lot of people are moving away from tipping culture. One, you know, these prices are absolutely insane, so I get it. I truly do. Like, if you don't want to tip me, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna care. Man, like, it's like $50 to have a fucking pizza delivered to you. I get it if you don't want to throw me a couple bucks, because that's fucking. That's outrageous. So, like, a lot of things have made, uh. Doing these kind of things, like delivering and. It's just not a good job anymore. Like, I don't do it full time. I, it's a side thing when I'm waiting for uh, jobs in my actual field. You know, there's usually a couple of months in between my jobs, so I need something to do. You know, you make like a hundred, maybe a hundred bucks a day, drive around, whatever. I mean, that's not much, but better than zero dollars. But a lot of things that make doing delivery just. It's not worth it anymore. One, you don't get an hourly wage, which is ridiculous, unless you work for, like, Domino's or something. And the second thing is gas prices, uh, at least here in Canada, are like $1.50 a liter. So, you really got to pay attention to how far you're driving to deliver people's food, otherwise you're essentially paying to deliver food to them. And the third thing is, like, nobody wants to tip anymore because the prices are so insane that no, the average person can barely afford to order off these things, let alone leave a tip. And, like, the delivery fees are, like, $3, and sometimes you're driving, like, 15 kilometers in traffic. Like, it's such an outdated system. And you know that these third-party apps could can definitely afford to pay an hourly wage. I mean, look at Skip the Dishes. They became a multi-billion dollar company over the period of two years. Clearly, they're not hurting for cash. And Uber is such a ma massive service that they could also afford to pay a, a minimum wage too, right? But it is what it is, I guess. Unless people actually, you know stand up for themselves and do something about it, it's not going to change. And there's so many, uh, so many people that do it and are willing to make the, the small change that it's going to keep going that way, so. And I'm not going to stress about it. I personally like the convenience of being able to just come home from a job, pick up my phone, push the go button, and then bam. There you go. You're making money. Because it's tough to find a, you know, a part-time job that will take you when you might have to leave in a couple days of notice. Because I'm a welding apprentice, so, like, if, I, if a job comes up, I'm going to go make that double salary and, you know, forward my career. So a lot of part-time jobs don't really want someone who might have to leave on a whim. So that's why I kinda the the delivery app thing is kinda nice. It's just a convenience. Again, like I don't know, I'm starting to go away from it. Like I'm getting older. Dealing with people in traffic, because there's so many self-entitled drivers nowadays. Over the last 10 years, I swear people have gotten evidently bad at driving. It's, it does get a little stressful doing that for like 8 hours a day. Especially in a big city. You got two extremes. Either people drive too slow or people drive like absolute psychopaths. Nobody drives normal. Just 
nobody goes to speed limit. Or maybe like 10 over the speed limit. Now they've either got to go, you know, 30 to 50 over, or 30 under. It's insane. I've been, I've been driving for... I got my license when I was 16. Oh, fuck me. Um, I've had my license since I was 16 because in the uh, province of Alberta, you can get your learners when you're 14. And you can get a... It's like a... GDL license when you're 16 with, with restrictions. So, like, you can't drive past midnight or before 7 a.m. Obviously... Zero tolerance for liquor consumption. I mean, if you're if you're if you're 16 years old and you got a DUI, you're gonna get in a lot more trouble than just a DUI. Now you're getting charged with drinking under the uh, under the age too, right? And anyway, so I've been driving for about 15 years. I don't know if I'm just getting older and wiser to the bullshit that's happening around me, or if people have just gotten that bad at driving that it's extremely noticeable. But man, it is insane watching other people drive nowadays. Just the the extremism on the roads compared to what it was ten years ago. Mind boggling. People are so fucking self-centered and selfish. Like, they don't even get out of the way of emergency vehicles anymore. Like, imagine thinking you're better than someone who needs medical attention. Insane. It's truly insane. The world is slowly going bonkers. In a... In a half shell here. And, like, grocery... Oh, my... My friend was telling me the other day she went to go buy groceries and she's got like fucking five hundred dollars worth of fucking groceries. And they're just like shoving the groceries in her face off to the side. She's like, Are you, can you help me bag these a little bit? And they're like, no, we don't do that anymore. So it's like, well, what the fuck's the point of having a cashier then if I have to, one, have all my fucking shit thrown at me and two, bag it myself? already spending five hundred dollars on enough groceries for maybe like a week for two people the least you can do is help help us bag it and not rush us through and that plus then you have to bring your own bags so you have to buy that you have to collect the groceries and then you have to bag them yourself by bringing your own bags so what, what do the cashiers do just sit there and scan 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 wow okay well, at that point, and I really don't like self-checkout, but if this is going to be the norm, and all they do is sit there and scan the items, then I guess might as well just use the stupid self-checkout, because this person really isn't providing much of a skill anyway. They're, they're an over-glorified scanner. And now, and this is a, a weird one that people don't seem to quite understand. Um, now, this isn't everywhere. This is like mainly an Alberta thing in Canada. But now they want to charge what's called a, uh, a brown bag tax. So when you go to places like McDonald's or Wendy's and you get, uh, you know, you get your food to go or whatever. And, uh... You know, obviously, you get like a few a few sandwiches, maybe some fries. They charge you 15 to 25 cents for the, the shitty little brown paper bag that your food goes into now. And I'm like, what? It's a brown paper bag. It probably cost them like half a cent to make. And it's, it's not the, uh, I guess it's not McDonald's choice or Wendy's choice. It's a governmental choice to charge, um, and it's apparently supposed to help with littering. <laughs> so it's a, it's a, essentially a litter tax. And yeah, I get it. People, people are fucking trash and they like to throw shit everywhere, but really, we're going for the brown paper bags. That's, that's... What? The, the one thing that is the most biodegradable is what you're charging people for. That doesn't make any sense. 
If anything, without the brown bag, people are just gonna throw the other stuff around in a less confined device, and then you're just gonna have those, like, plastic wrappers or the tinfoil wrappers just strewn about everywhere instead. You think charging someone 15 cents for a paper bag is gonna solve the litter problem? Why don't you start actually enforcing the law on people who litter? Great, that's a wild concept. You see, if a police officer sees someone throwing shit out their car window, why don't you pull them over and do your fucking job? And give them a fine. The solutions that the government comes up with to try to solve these issues really just tells us that they have no clue what they're doing. Yeah, like, if a lot of people are asking, are they gonna use this 15 to 25 cents per brown paper bag to fix infrastructure and roads? No. No. They're, they're not. So it's just another thing they're gonna pocket. They might hire a few more trash collectors here and there, but other than that, it's just another way for the government to make millions of dollars and fill their pockets and buy more yachts to go snort cocaine off hookers' assholes while the entire world burns. Cool, right? Isn't it fun having the world run by criminals? I know I love it. Spread your butt cheeks. It's time to get fisted by your man. By the man. Holy man, it's already 30 minutes into this. If you're trying to fell to my death at 28, how fuck? <laughs> oh shit, dude. Ouch, at 28, imagine dying to fall damage, that's rough. Rough. Brutal. Maybe we'll finish this quest before we uh, start turning gray. Oh, I seen the other day, uh, Kai Sadat's trying to get his buddy unbanned from Twitch, which tells me that he himself never actually got banned for the old inciting a riot thing. Well, it must be nice being so popular that you can get away with breaking the law and are above the TOS. So, moral of the story, if you want to fuck around and find out, just make sure you have enough followers first and are famous enough, and then you can do essentially whatever you want. Terms of service don't apply to popular streamers and popular content creators. They are above the law. All they have to do is pay a fine. Whenever they do a bad thing, they get a little slap on the wrist and away they go. But I mean, that's how society has always worked. You know, the rich, the popular. It's because they actually bring something to the table and make people money. They, they get away with certain things that us normal people don't. Yeah, it's dumb as hell, but what are you going to do? It's been that way since the dawn of humanity. And it's it's a nice dream to think that it'd be nice if it would change, but it's not going to. Now, long before our civilization falls and the next civilization rises after us, history will repeat itself as it always does. The only way out of this game is to somehow manage to become other rich or popular. Otherwise, then you must be law-abiding and behave yourself. More hot takes at 11. I need where's all the other guys I need the, the six the supervisors <sighs> hopefully hopefully they start opening up my work soon man I'm getting broke as fuck uh. I I gotta pay for my school yeah. Oh, the struggle's real. Yeah. 
and what sparked that whole conversation about the grocery store was I made a I made a post on my Facebook the other day about like you remember when Taco Time used to just be like yo man you want some hot sauce and you'd be like yeah I want some hot sauce and they were like here's fucking ten containers of hot sauce it was great I used to used to keep those and I would use them to cook with later it was great and then now they charge you like a dollar fifty per hot sauce and again twenty five cents for the brown paper bag to boot it in. Like, what the fuck is going on, guys? Y you can't tell me the resources to make this stuff has really inflated that much. It just sounds like the, you know, CEOs are essentially doing their jobs and trying to find ways to nickel and dime the consumers as much as humanly possible. But fuck. So I don't even get the hot sauce anymore, man. I'll just buy some sriracha if I need hot sauce. Fuck. It's cheaper. Dollar fifty for a little cup of hot sauce, man. Fuck you. Used to be able to walk into a fucking Wendy's and with a couple bucks and walk out with a couple hamburgers. I'm not even that old. That wasn't that long ago. <laughs> Remember what granddad would be like, back in, my, back in my day, we paid 50 cents for a goddamn bag of chips. Yeah, back in his day, that was probably true. Back in our day, which was probably about a couple of years ago, bag of chips was a couple bucks. Maybe a dollar. Now it's like three. And we're not old yet. Fuck. What's, what's gonna happen in the next 20 years? Fuck, bag of chips gonna cost you a hundred dollars? Like, shit, dude. What's, where do we stop? It's gonna be like the Cold War where you had to work 20 hours for a cup of coffee. Alright, we're almost done this one. Just a couple more supervisors. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Leveling in classic sure is fun! It actually is kinda fun. Just time consuming. Oh, look, an axe. Too bad bears can't use axes. We too dumb. Bears too stupid to use axe. Come on. Come on. Don't pull the fucking other dude. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so look at all the wolf meat. So we killed like 23 wolves for 8 claws. At least. Because they don't always drop the wolf meat. It's uh, not a 100% drop chance of that either. Alright, we done here. Back to Bloodhoof. Bloodhoof Village. Why does this keep popping up? Fuck off. Reload reminder. Reload these nuts. How does that sound? Oh, why am I yawning? Alright. So... We completed this one. Are we level 12 almost? Ooh. Oh, we will be level 12. Very good adventure. Oh, nice. We're gonna get a new stick. My spirit swells with sadness. I like this stick. It's three the sticks the taped together. The is spoken among the spirits, young we got many the sticks. Totem is made, and your last task lies ahead. The wild main water well lies north of Thunderbluff. Perform the ritual. Heal the land of the goblins' poisons. <laughs> the What's this? And decreasing enemies attack power. What's this? Enrage. Hmm. I mean, I think this might actually be pretty useful. I don't know. I mean, we're not hurting for coin. Oh, nice. We got another healing spell. All the heals. I don't really... 
What? What? Oh, someone hit level 60. I was like, what was that sound? Oh, someone hit 60 already. Shit. I mean... <laughs> cool. <laughs> Yawn. Put those there, I guess. And then we gotta... I gotta use the bowl of water. I think it's... Yeah, by the tribal fire. Wait, where's the other hand in? Oh, he's over there. I think... I thought we did too. Oh, I got a visit from the Sandman. It was Alliance, man. <laughs> Alliance hitting 60 so quick. We don't have any level 60 hordes yet. Because all the bots play Alliance. <laughs> Inducing vision. We are taking drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Drugs are bad. Marijuana is okay in moderation, but everything else, don't do it. Oh. Oh, we following. Wait. Slow down. Mother whore. Now we go again. Taking the journey. Man, they need to trim the grass here. I mean, I know we're cow people, but damn. Do I look like I chew could? Oh, I forgot to sell shit. They stupid. So where is this vision taking me? I guess we can always sell stuff in Thunder Bluff because we have to go to Thunder Bluff anyway. I want to see if the stingy wolf meat's worth anything in the auction house. Because we broke. Oh, I don't even. I can't even use the auction house. I got 31 copper. <laughs> I don't have enough for her to pass it. Damn it! Server first, ally side. On my OG vanilla server was a pally. Apparently, a gold farmer name. Oh God! See, that's why this whole thing is so lame. Because the bots are gonna get all the fucking level 60s up first because they're bots. I had a great idea for the uh, solution to the botting problem. It's like if a, if someone's online more than 24 out for over 24 hours, because let's be real, the average person cannot sit here and play for 24 hours straight. To just activate them on PvP, like ter automatically turn PvP mode after 24 hours of straight gameplay, and let us fucking merc them. Right, that'd be fun. You could have like, you'd have like bounty hunter. You could be like a bounty hunter and hunt gold farmers. It'd be great. Obviously, if once they caught on, they could just they'd have to actually actively check their bot every twenty four hours. But hey, man, they slip up. We be getting them. That's gonna get annoying. Why does that keep? How do I turn that off? Stop it. Where is this thing taking me? Oh, right up here. Do I have to follow it, or can I just run? I don't want to fail the quest. By running away from the dog. It says to follow the vision. We're going to follow the vision. Come on, motherfucker. Let's go. Literal goats. What's this? Found out recently that this guild is named after a player. And yeah, girls, how dare you? Not even link it. Unda TV. It's, it's in their notes. Oh, okay. I thought there was. I thought they were still talking about the bots. I guess not. <laughs> Come on, I want to go get more coffee. <coughs> Pardon me. Hello. Look at my bare butt. Man. It'll be lit when we get cat form at level 20 in the next five episodes. <laughs> like I said, I might actually cut a bit of the grind out here and there. 
Ooh, look at that. High kicker. 34 Hunter. Ouch. That sucks. I want this to announce it. Uh, show death log. Death alerts. Uh, faction wide. There we go. I want to see them noobs die, man. Hello. I followed your vision. I know it's a few levels late, but I did it. You have successfully passed the right of vision. Oh. The right of vision. You have the right to suck these. Never mind. I'm not gonna finish that one. Oh. Demon Sun Cloak, Donation of Wolf. Is there a Demon Scarred Cloak? I don't know what that is. But we're gonna go to Thunder Booth. I forgot to hand that in, as I am really stupid. And I haven't had enough caffeine yet to really. Oh, it's cold now. Fuck. Blech. When people think smoking weed is cool, nobody cares. Nobody thinks it's cool. And the people who shit talk it aren't cool either. If you want to smoke weed, then fucking smoke it. <laughs> it's not cool or uncool. It's just... I personally miss smoking weed because it was relaxing. And it's legal here in Canada too, so. Walk into the store, grab. I do have a little bit on like Christmas season because I don't have work during the winter, but. Unfortunately, I gotta pass drug tests for work, and yeah, just because marijuana is legal. Uh, certain companies are still allowed to uh, fire you for marijuana consumption, so. And unfortunately, the four hour high is not worth me losing my job. Since it, you get high once, it stays in your system for like one to three months, depending on how big you are and yada yada yada, whatever other scientific bullshit that goes into it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Uh, oh no. No! Do that back. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. And then we need to make uh, I need to stop by my leatherworking trainer, which if I remember correctly is just up around here somewhere, but we need to go and this in. Place pendant on in silver silver pine. Silver pine. The fuck? I think I'm walk all the way over there. I might actually do that. It is hardcore. We probably want to quest in another zone at least once. And Brill is actually kind of in. I've never leveled in the undead zone. I think I did once when I was like 14. I might pop over there, do their quests. Maybe off screen. I just did fizzle all by myself and I'm having a hard. <laughs> oh man! You know, there's an easy way to do certain quests that are difficult. Clear an area. Clear an area that you can, like, pull enemies back in. Tag them and then run backwards. That's how you. That's how you deal with caster mobs. There's not enough people dying. Where's all the deaths? I know it's <coughs> six in the morning, but. The north is the road forks. And have care as you travel. The barons holds great dangers. Uh, I'm 
just gonna ask a guard. Oh, he's got shoulders, bro. Got shoulders. Damn. Lucky motherfucker. Ah, <coughs> ah leather working. Oh, I don't even have enough to pay for my training yet. A donation of wool. I don't got wool yet. What are you talking about? I can just go up here. Man, get in trouble before him will be lit too. Speaking of, ooh, charging enemy. I definitely want feline swiftness too for later. But we also probably want increase the critical strike chance while in bear, dire bear, cat form, and then yeah, blood frenzy. Additional five rage. Anytime you get a critical, ooh yeah. Critical strikes from cat form abilities that add combo points have 50% chance to add additional combo point. A lot of these talents are really good. Hmm. Aloha! I don't have enough money to train. So we're gonna make something. I need to buy supplies. Uh, another armor. No, 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 no. Who's got supplies? You got supplies? You don't got supplies. <clears throat> here we go. Blah, blah. Allow me to make some gloves. I need five silver for my training. Oh, that'll do it. Nice. And then we'll get to 60. Oh, wait. Okay, I need to make my boots. I forgot I had that. Nice. Made by for guy. Hell yeah. Two more stamina and some spirit. There we go. Five silver. Uh, here he is. Oh, I've been Train me. What the hell? May the eternals oh. shine what brings you here? Oh right, specific trainers and shit. Okay. I don't I don't need that yet, so oh. I just wanted to do that, get my next stage of leather working. Alright. Now we gotta go down and do the quests. And then hopefully we'll be done with uh first zone anyway. Ah. No! Fall damage! I almost died. Just get her. Oh, look at that. We almost got 400 HP. How nice. How nice for us. Back down we go. To the totem pole. Time for a reload interval. Really? Every 15 minutes. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Is that like a suggestion? Interval equals 15 minutes. <sighs> right. Oh, I never did that. Ugh. I guess I'll roll around and do that on my way back. Let's grab this, this, this. And I don't think it's all really important, but I'll still get it done. Gives me wolves, cougars, harpies. A demon, scarred cloak. Huh. I don't want to fight these. They heal. I hate... Man, I was fighting one the, the other day, and it healed twice in a row. I was like, what? I thought they only got to heal once. <clears throat> Bunch of... Bunch of cock bullshit. Right, I guess we gotta fight one at least. Oh, 
and they do some damage too. Yeah, see, there it goes. Fucking healing. Just gets a heal again. Die, bitch. Oh, hey. Got some green legs. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's male. Oh, it's not. Okay. I can use that too, bitch. <laughs> Suck, eat one. Oh, I need to. Yeah, I might as well skin them. All they're working is a bitch to level up. I know because my my white main character is still struggling to level her fucking other working up. <clears throat> on the uh, the main servers but uh, what's kind of lame on the main servers is like everybody's already fully geared and that's a lame and a good thing I guess because then you don't have to worry about so you might if you're lucky to find a decent guild, they might take you to gear up because they just like to run the content for fun now, right? Just for funsies. I got like a level 40, 43 hunter so far. Eh, maybe one of these days I'll go finish leveling her. We shall see. Probably buff myself. I've never played a druid before, but they are oddly fun. I must say. I'm having a good time. What's this? Oh. I guess those are just icons for the, the buildings. I thought there was a quest here or something. Not enough rage. Ooh, we got an axe. Let me axe you. Something. Do you like it when I slap your face? What did the five figure say to the face? Slap! <laughs> that son of a rule. Oh! People are in Silver Pine. I'm guessing Silver Pine's a, a tough zone to level in. Why am I in combat? Okay. Get out of my way, I wanna plat my totem. Oh. <laughs> I didn't spend my talent point yet. Target. I'm here to target. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, there it is. The reason I'm killing everything that's in front of me is I don't need shit padding into me when I'm trying to do the actual thing I'm trying to do. If you don't, if you don't clear a path on your way through, you might get uh, you might get got. We don't want to get got because then that'll end this journey very quickly. We haven't even got to the fun part yet, which is, uh, the Baron's. Baron's chat. Yeah. Those who remember. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I didn't want a three-way, bros. I think we're okay. Oh. Oh, that, yeah. We lower their damage, they won't kill us as quickly, right? Alright, getting that was helpful. Die, bitch! Get the fuck out of here! Stupid motherfucker. Trying to three away me. You fuck with the bear, you get the claw. 
<laughs> anyway. Uh. Oh shit. No! I can't bear! Hang on, we gotta wait for the mana. <laughs> there we go. Aha! Now I'm beer. Come on. I need to get to that thing you guys are standing in front of. Can I do it from here? Nope. Nope. Eh. Hello, Mr. Supervisor. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna stand here, wave my hands around a little bit with the stick in my hand. Yeah. Ha, sucker. Later, nerd. <laughs> I still see this thing running around. I've never seen or done that quest. <clears throat> Is there someone wandering around? Like, a, I mean, if I see him, I'll do it. Ugh. I'm trying to walk around you, Mr. Wolf. Get your fuzzy butt out of my way. Get your fuzzy butt out of my way. Was bird out of my way. I wonder what crazy people I'm going to run into today. I hope people behave themselves. I just want a nice, normal Wednesday. I want to make my money. I want to come back and chill. Can people just not be weird? I swear some of the people that order off these apps are the same types of people that don't leave their house. <laughs> oh, there's another... Oh, I forgot about this lovely encounter. I dropped off this one order at this apartment and this person comes down and they kind of push the apartment door open just enough. Uh, I can't even get the fucking pizza box that's in there. And like, I open it up a bit more and they like tug it away from me. I'm like, okay, do you want your... So I try to hand it through the door at an angle that's not going to like have them fucking tip the pizzas upside down. And they're trying to grab it. I got my hand underneath it. I'm not even holding on to it. And like, are you going to give me my food? And I was like, I'm just trying to make sure you don't drop it. Like, holy shit. What do you think I'm going to do? R open up the fucking door and come into your apartment? No, I'm just trying to I'm just trying to make some cash here. Take your pizza and fuck off. <laughs> fucking weirdo. If I really wanted to rip that door out of your hands, I could have. I'm guaranteed I'm probably a lot stronger than you are. <laughs> The difference between someone who works on refineries versus some skinny person that never leaves their house. I could, if I wanted to get in, I would get in. So, just take your food and let me go on my business, please. Stop being weird about it. Or maybe they thought I had the COVID. Oh no! I mean, that's a possibility. Anything's possible with these weird fucks, man. Same weird people that sit on Twitter all day talking weird shit. That's one thing I would like to. I try to tell people. Like, the way people talk on, like, Twitter and stuff, people really don't act that way in real life. It's like a small percentage of weird degenerates that never leave their house that have these like crazy thoughts going through their head and they like to release that information on the internet. <clears throat> Why am I up here? What are we doing? I thought I was taking a shortcut and now I'm killing harpies so let's get back on track here. Started talking about weirdos and socially awkward people. You know, I, I, when I was growing up, I thought socially awkward people were like a very, very small uh, fraction of people because, like, in my school, you'd have maybe like, I don't know, two or three weird kids that were socially awkward. <clears throat> but the internet has taught me there's a lot more, <laughs> there's a lot of people. That have absolutely no social skills whatsoever. Like, they are completely inept when it comes to interacting with other human beings. And it's insane. 
I guess when you when you don't grow up around weirdos, I guess you don't see a lot of weirdos. But there's a lot of them out there. A lot of sheltered people that clearly never left their homes growing up that really do not have any nuances on human behavior whatsoever. And they're just weird as fuck, bro. <clears throat> This is why you this is why it's very important when kids are growing up that they get social interaction with other kids so they don't grow up into weird fucking adults. And I feel like the last generation was a huge plague on that for you know, parents sheltering their kids. Only the most oh, congratulations! You just created a generation of socially awkward freaks it is an honor who do nothing but spur out on the internet all day <coughs> by trying to protect them. You essentially fuck them up. Now, a lot of people don't like that opinion, but it's you can't argue with the the results. Right, I need to get so this is red rocks people are having issues with this one I mean I did level up a bit with my professions and stuff so I think we should be all right <clears throat> and, like, you got the other extreme too like the other social spectrum where people are a little overly social like Karens and shit who speak their mind a little too much like starting fights in the McDonald's <laughs> It's like, man, why can't y'all just be normal? People used to know where to draw the lines. The lines are gone. People have been jumping the lines. <clears throat> People are either socially inept or self-entitled nowadays. Is it really that difficult just to be a normal human being? Clearly. Fucking murlocs, oh shit. Yeah, I'd be like that with those murlocs, man. They'll get you. You gotta watch them. That was the nice thing about playing a paladin. You could hit them with that one uh, judgment that made it so they couldn't run away. Very useful. I don't see a lot of people using it, though. Definitely made my life easier leveling my paladin and, uh,. Wrath Classic, anyway. Like, 80% of the mobs in this game run away when they're at, like, 20% health. And if you're not quick, they're gonna pull more shit. And then you're gonna have a bad time. And nobody wants to have a bad time. Bad times are bad. Remember guys, bad times are bad. Don't be don't have bad times. Don't create bad times. Don't have bad times. I need to shave my neck beard's coming back in oh, no. Sorry. Being a little, a little weird there, you know. Even though I'm not perfect. You have you? shown great diligence in your journey oh. to pass the rights of the Earth Mother Adventurer. We, <coughs> the ancestral spirits, represent the mighty Torn who gave their lives bravely to found and protect our great city of Thunder Bluff. I hereby pass the duty of protection over to you. The right of wisdom, young oh, the right of wisdom, have I? You will now be with you. The interlopers. Worthy of completing the rights of the Earth Mother earns that honor. For your final quest, seek out our noble leader, Karen Bloodwood. Karen. Dwells atop the highest mesa. I don't want to talk to Karen, man. She's weird. Crazy. <laughs> Different Karen. I know. I'm just, I think I'm funny, alright? Let me, let me have that one delusion in life that I'm actually funny. 
We all get a few. Well done. You have sent those foul bristlebacks a clear message. They will think twice. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're looking at the one bag I made, <laughs> I made a Kodo bag. Wasn't easy. Trying to find them Kodos. There. They, oh, what the hell? Oh, I was supposed to go in that cave. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about them, them caves, man. Uh, I think I might pass on that. How's my Hearthstone doing? Guess we can go back to Thunder Bluff. Man, there's a lot of running around in this shit, man. Oh, God. Don't eat me. I swear I, I might look like beef, but I don't taste good. I mean, I probably do taste good, but don't tell that to the cougar. <laughs> oh, we got another axe. Lumberjack X. Times two. So, what, what the shaking me? Oh, we got Kodos. I got one Kodo. Are you going to drop me some Kodo leather so I can make another bag? I need three. I like bags, man. Bags expensive. We got wolf coming. Oh, what? I missed? Ah, uh, parry. Alright. There we go. We got one in. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> no leather. Someone else be taking them, I guess. Where's all the other Kodos? Usually there's like a, a pack of them. Hmm. How unfortunate for me, I guess. Now I'm, oh, there he is. Oh, who are you? Do you drop... He doesn't drop a quest item, does he? I don't know. I think he's actually a quest I need to do, so I'll leave him for now. Because Questy's not showing you anything for him. And we don't want to wait for a respawn. So... Oh my god, someone's running. Running, running, running. We are running. I may cut the running out. Because we're already at one hour. I think we'll get to Thunder Bluff and we'll call this one. I'll finish up the last few little things here and <coughs> we'll start in the Barrens once I uh, get there as well. I thought this would have been a little bit less than an hour of gameplay, but we're pretty much done. Like, fuck, I might go over and do this shit too, just for the sake of getting it done. Oh fuck. Bad Mr. Wolf. I don't want to die. I want that Kodo. Get back here. Oh shit, we got a double death. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's... <laughs> Rip. Duo down, rogue and a mage, eh? Damn, that's unfortunate for them. I'm 12. What happened? Yeah. <coughs> How do you... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. How do you die as a duo at level 12? What happened? They lagged, went to walk off the elevator, and then TP'd back to falling off the edge. Ah! Oh, we lost a shaman at 25. That's another one, another class I'd never really played much of was shaman. I need Kodo leather, goddammit! Ah! Give me! Why are they so spread out? Usually they're in a pack. Who's got the auto invite active? Shaman, eh? I may make a shaman for like funsies, but not on not on hardcore. <clears throat> not one coat of leather. Well, that's bananas. I only have one bag. I need three more. I'm like trying to get money together for that is such a pain in the arse. Between turning professions and 
uh, skills, <clears throat> you're pretty much always broke. Story of my goddamn life. Always broke. Are we fixing that? I'm fixing my brokenness in real life. That's why we got the apprenticeship. No longer gonna be working for fucking potatoes. Making potatoes. Working with potatoes. Making potatoes. You know what I mean. Learning new skills, getting a salary <coughs> increase. Be the way. It's the way of the world, man. You want to make more money? Stop sitting around complaining about it and actually get out there and go make more money. Figure it out a way. No one's going to come and fix it for you. Plan on uh, eventually, maybe within, within the next five years, I want to have both my welding and boiler making tickets. And then we'll have a really good career. Nice blue collar, decent salary. I used to be a, a chef. Man, I can't do. I can't cook anymore, man. There's no money in it. S stressful as fuck. Dealing with. And it's like, the work itself isn't what makes it stressful, it's dealing with other people, like servers and managers and stuff, man, that make working as a chef stressful. I can cook like I'm nobody's business, like, I can do the legendary 12 pans, and that part of the work isn't what made me hate being a chef so much, it was the people I worked with that actually ruined it for me. Fucking constant bitching and complaining and... Stupid mundane questions from servers. Oh, and then the the way management treats you. Nah, fuck that shit, man. It ain't worth fucking minimum wage to put up with people's bullshit like that, man. I still have to put up with people's bullshit, but <clears throat> I also make three times the amount of money. So <laughs> you're never gonna get away from bullshit, but you should at least get paid for the bullshit. You know what I mean? And actually. Being a welder and a boiler maker, a welder slash boiler maker apprentice, I actually put up with less bullshit than when I was working in kitchens. A lot of the the bullshit that you deal with as a chef is completely unreasonable, unfounded, and it's just people taking their shitty day out on you all the fucking time. So you know what? Fuck that. Fuck that life. Fuck those people. And if you are one of those managers or servers that make working in kitchens a fucking living hell, fuck you. <laughs> That's all I gotta say on that matter. Just fuck you. I mean, I probably have. I mean, what? I don't know. <laughs> Not anymore. Hell, I couldn't pick a server up for the life of me. I'm too old now. Mind you, I did have my shit fair share of fun about a decade ago. I think that's probably what enticed me into cooking to begin with was all the pretty servers. Oh, that was a bad, that was a bad boy. Uh-oh. Mortison the Rogue has died at level 14 in the Barrens. I think the first time Classic, like the other Classic came through, I leveled a Rogue. I don't remember how and when. I managed to get him to 55 before quitting, and when I went back to rejoin it, I had no clue I even had the character. So, I was... Unless that was, like, my OG character from, like, when I was a teenager. You have passed the rights of the Earth Mother I was so and earned your place in Thunder Bluff. Ooh, for agility. Mm. So I think Druids need strength, though, don't we? What does agility do? Yeah, for ranged attacks. Armor and chance to dodge, though. Oh, critical hit with all weapons. That just increases attack power. So we need... Agility for crit chance and strength for attack power with melt. Oh, my God. Druids need all the stats. All of them! Anyway. Yeah, I knew we had to go get the horn of our ra 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 our chia. But that's all the time I have for this one. And the next time we come back, I should be in the barrens. Probably a few levels higher, because I might go to... I'm going to go check out the undead zone and do some quests there before I'm too high to do those. And then we'll be nice and...
decently leveled for the Barons. But anyway, thanks for watching.